So today we're going to be looking at getting historical market data for different cryptocurrencies, pulling that data into Python, and then producing charts like this one. So we can zoom around, we can you know, look at more granular data. And so if you just want the code, you can just copy this. I'll give you a minute there. And then you'll also, on top of that, you'll also need the data. So if you just go to the cryptodatadownload.com website, you can go to historical data, um, I'm gonna be UK and US exchanges, and then I'm gonna pick Kraken because from what I've seen that they have the best historical data and that it goes back in time the furthest. So you can download here BTC, USD, daily or any other crypto that you want. It doesn't matter for the purpose of this tutorial. I've already downloaded it, but I'll download it again. And then if I just, well, I'm already in that poll here. So what you'll find if you open it, open it up in a text editor, you'll find you've got this first line here, say cryptodatadownload.com. You want to delete that before we do anything in Python. You can use any text editor you want. I'm just using Vim here. Pandas might get confused if you leave that data in there. So better to just take it out. Okay, so once you've done that, you want to open up a Python file. So I'm just going to call my tutorial.py. And then we want to import two libraries. We're going to import matplotlib.pyplot as PLT, and we're going to also import pandas as PD. And so the first thing we need to do is we need to read in our data. And so for that, we're going to use the pandas.read underscore CSV function. We'll say df for data frame equals pd.read CSV, and then put the name of the CSV in there. I've already forgotten the name, so I will copy and paste it from the terminal here. There we go. And then another thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're going to want to make sure that the date column on this is properly formatted. Sometimes it's a bit weird, the date format switches halfway through the data set. So we're just gonna make sure that that is all uniform by selecting the date column here, and then setting that to PD dot to date time. And then you just put DF dot date in there. Okay. And so that'll make sure everything's formatted properly. And then to actually to plot things, you can just do this directly through pandas. And so you can say DF dot plot X is equal to date y is equal to we'll say the opening price there are a few other options in there you can say the closing price or the volume weighted average but that's up to you you can have a look through the data later on and then just to get so we can have a look at it we'll do plt dot show and then if we run that we'll get a nice little plot like this now we don't have the logarithmic y-axis here so it's a bit difficult to read, especially, you know, with Bitcoin spanning so many orders of magnitude. And so to fix that, all we have to do is go in here and we just say log y equals true. And there we go, much nicer. A few of the things we might want to do. We might want to set the labels for the x and y axis. So if we do plt.xlabel, and then set that to be date, and then plt.ylabel, we can set that to be the Bitcoin price. There we go. And then finally, we might want to change the theme in matplotlib. And so to do that, just at the beginning of the document, you can type 
plt.style.use and then I'm going to use dark background. You can look on the matplotlib docs, there are quite a few other different styles that you can use, but I just think this looks quite nice. And there we go, that's everything you need to produce historical data charts for any cryptocurrency you want.